Hey everyone, Clay from Clayviation.com. Today we're talking about VOR navigation. Very important concept to understand. So we're uh, here on a beautiful day at Athens Airport. And uh, first of all, what is a VOR? Well, VOR stands for Very High Frequency, or VHF, Omnidirectional Radio Range, which is a mouthful. Uh, basically, that's a fancy uh, term for a navigation station that looks just like this here. It's actually a small building and uh, it's got a little cone at the top. It's kind of easy to identify. So they tend to be on airports, but they're not always on airports. Sometimes they're off field. Um, but let's pull up a map here and take a look at how it works. Uh, so this map in X plane shows the classic uh, compass rose that pops up that you'll see on a sectional chart that we'll look at in a moment. Um, and that's how that's the best way to tell that you're looking at a VOR. There is a little symbol in the center here that shows you that it is a VOR. Now basically this VOR station is transmitting electronic signals around in every direction for us to pick up on in our airplane. And um, uh, the instrument in our airplane that we'll look at is going to tell us uh, which radial basically that we are navigating to um, or from that goes around this VOR. So uh, let's take a look at our sectional chart. We can see uh, just outside of Athens here this little box that says VOR DME Athens there are actually three different kinds um, of VORs. There's a traditional VOR, there's a VOR DME, and there's a Vortac. Uh, that's a little beyond the scope of this video, so today we're just going to refer to any of those as a VOR. They all function really the same for our purposes. So, But we can see that the uh, frequency in that box is 109.6 uh, that we'll turn tune to, as well as some Morse code over there, you'll see. So let's pop over to the airplane and see what we can get ourselves into. Here we are on the airplane. Uh, let's go ahead and get rolling here. We'll unpause this and we are flying. So if we take a close look at our instruments here and our radios, you'll see that we are tuned to uh, 109.6. And I'll cover the use of this whole radio stack in a different video, but um, for now, just understand that 109.6 is tuned into our NAV1 frequency. And what that's going to do is that's going to activate that VOR on this CDI, which stands for Course Deviation Indicator. Um, now, we want to make sure that we are actually talking to the right VOR and that we are getting information to the Athens VOR. So we're going to use that Morse code. If we select NAV1 at the top, we're actually going to be able to hear the Morse code. Let's listen one more time and make sure that matches up to our sectional chart. And it does. So we are tuned and identified to the VOR. Now, this OBS, which stands for Omni Bearing Selector, is just simply a knob that rotates this compass card around the um, CDI here. And you can see that there's a little arrow on the bottom. You've got a from or a to indication, and depending on kind of where you are in relation to the station, that arrow is going to give you a to or a from indication. Now, so the best way to use this is to say, okay, well, how do we get, let's get to Athens Airport. How do we get to Athens Airport? So the best way to do that is to rotate this OBS until you get a to indication on your arrow. Let's keep going around. There's two and that needle comes in centered and that tells us that we are right um, on this particular course to the section to the station which in this case is 100 degrees so what that tells us kind of zoom out here we actually need to go ahead and turn our airplane to 100 degrees to kind of get onto the right path here so i've got my autopilot flying here but let me go ahead and set my little heading bug to 100 degrees get turning in that right direction and we'll see what happens. Now you can see that this needle has moved since we've been flying and that is because if we pull up our map we are actually crossing these radials here. Our, our uh, 90 degree radial would be shooting straight out this way and our 100 degree radial would be shooting out uh, just this way coming off this way. So our airplane is going to be navigating to this 100 degree radial here which basically you could take the reciprocal of that coming off the back here, and you can actually just look and see 280 would be the reciprocal of that, It'd just be the bottom of that. So we would kind of be coming in on this 280 
course, but you're navigating to the 100 degree radial over on this side. So you can see that now our, um, our needle is actually to the right. And as long as you've got a two indication and your heading is uh, nearly matching that, you can actually just now fly towards the needle to center that. So if we were to kind of turn, let's say 10 or 15 degrees to the right here, flying towards the needle, kind of level off and let's see if that kind of starts coming in a little bit more for us so what we're again what we're doing is we're trying to navigate to this 100 degree radial just kind of coming this way right here and showing that we're a little left of that line so let's just see if we can get that to come into us right here you can see that there are these dots let's get a little closer so you can see this these dots right here are showing how much deflection you are to the right or left. And it's angular deflection, so it's a little bit, it's not quite just saying, well, you know, you're this many miles off. These are actually 200 feet um, per dot per nautical mile away from the station. So if we cheat a little bit, I can see on my GPS, I've got Athens plugged in, we're five and a half miles from the station. Um, so we can kind of do the math and tell how far we are off here. Uh, but let's go ahead and get back to our cockpit view here. Now this isn't really coming in for us, so let's go ahead and get a little bit more of a um, intercept angle. And let's see if we can really see that needle move in for us so we can track in and find Athens with this. Now this helps us for the purposes of this illustration that we can actually see the airport and the VOR off to our left here. Um, the closer you get into the station, the um, more sensitive this needle is going to be to different movements. So you can actually see now, if we, if we zoom back into it, you can actually see we've got a little bit of movement coming in here. We are now about two and a half dots deflection. See that needle moving on in? And once the needle gets right here to the outside of this little donut, we're actually going to turn on into it. So we're very close to the airport at this point. So we're going to get a lot of sensitivity to it. But let's just wait and see what happens. Now, when you get real close to the station, you enter what's called a cone of confusion, um, where you can actually get some erratic kind of back and forth on your to from flag here. And basically, you're going to flip to a from indication as we cross the station. So this is really handy now that we can actually kind of get a visual. Our VOR is right here. And so we're basically trying to basically pick up the 100 degree radial that's coming off this way. And we're basically taking um, an extended line from that that's coming back this way to us. So there it is. I kind of missed turning into it because I was talking to you. But let's go, go ahead and turn now into about 100 degrees. Let's see what that does to us. You can see now our needles kind of swung the other way. So now we're a little right of course. Could we overshot that course a little bit? That's okay. This is a great illustration of showing you how this needle actually works here. So now when you're this close to the station and you know it, you don't want to make gigantic corrections or you're just going to be going back and forth. So we're going to hold our, la our last heading as we get close to the station here and watch it pass. Now I can go ahead and adjust it just a little bit. So now as we fly across this station here, let's take a look at what happens. Look outside a little bit here. You can see on the map, we're about to cross it. You can see even better, the VOR is just here. Let's go back into our airplane and see what we look like. Looks like we're right lined up right now. Now it's hard to say if we're in the cone of confusion, and that's a really good reading. Um, and you can see it's drifting, but we're not gonna we're not gonna correct it at this point. We know we're right close to it, so we're just gonna hold that. Now I want you to watch what happens as we cross the station to this needle and to this two flag right here.
Looks like we got a little spaceship down here flying with us. That's kind of fun, huh? All right, so the needle's normally going to give us a full-scale deflection as we cross, which means it's going to move all the way to one side or the other because we're so close in on these radials. And that full-scale deflection this close means we're about to see this flag flip from a two to a from. It's still showing on our GPS. We got just a little ways before we get to the Athens airport here. As you can see, we're close on our map. So we're just going to hang on. We're navigating. We're watching for our flag to flip, and that's going to tell us we've passed the station. There it is. Now we are navigating from the station on the 100 radial, the 100 radial of this VOR. So let's see if we can get outside, kind of take a look at what's going on down below us. Kind of just passed over, there's the airport. if I get these views right. There's the airport, there's the station. Let's get back over here now. What this is showing us is we actually have to fly to the right to pick up the course. So we've kind of gotten a little bit off because um, we weren't directly in line for it to start. So let's actually just pick up an intercept here. In this case, we've got about a 20. Let's kind of let that come on in. Let's get a little bit more of an intercept going on here. So again, now we've got a from indication on our CDI. So we are flying now from the station on the 100 radial. And we should see this start to come in. The needle's right, so we fly to the right. That's kind of how we remember that. And as long as your heading is truly flying from the station, you're flying away from the station, um, this is going to work correctly. Now, it doesn't matter what our actual heading is as far as how this instrument works. So if I were to turn around right now and face the station, we're going to get the exact same indication on this instrument. So that's why it's important to always consider um, if you're actually flying to or from the station when it comes to flying towards this um, needle right here. So now we can see that the needle's coming in nicely, and we can go ahead and now turn back to our 100 degree heading. Probably could have started that turn a little bit earlier there. But now we have a fairly centered needle. And we can track this outbound for as long as we want to. So that's basic VOR navigation. In another episode, we'll dive into some different uses, uh, a little bit more advanced techniques so we can get into. Um, but for now, hope you enjoyed. Please subscribe so you keep up with all the updates. Any new videos that come out, we'll see you next time.